Hello and welcome. I have a fountain pen haul to share with you. So let's get started. Let's start with the uh, Lamy Safaris. These two were uh, re released last year and they were the original color, the Safana green and terracotta color. And I saw them and I was mostly drawn to towards the green one. And later I ordered also the um, orange one. This one I needed to clean out. So I, it has nice black detailing. And I bought it in a fine nib for the green one. And I think this was a medium, yes, medium nib. And I like the nice black detailing and the clip. For this year, they also released two colors, strawberry and cream. I really love this color. It's like an off-white warm beige color. And it's a nice neutral color. And I just had to get this one. <laughs> I thought it would lean a little bit more uh, pink instead of the really red color, but this is nice as well. I used to use uh, Lamy Safari's fountain pens in school to learn how to write. I, I might insert a picture which one I used to use. I think it was the ABC one. It's called the, I think, ABC. But I got this one in 1.1. Just to try it out. And this one in the medium nib. And the color just matches all over. And the same for the strawberry color. Strawberry and cream. I also got a Twispy Eco. I wanted a fountain pen that could hold a lot of ink. If I can get it open. Uh, I've never used a fountain pen like this. Okay. I got it in the color J. And it's a clear demonstrator. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos about fountain pens and inks. So I'm trying to learn <laughs> some of the words or terms that they use for fountain pens. And I got this one. I need to get used to the fact that I can just pop this one off. But I have to twist it out. It's a twist cap. And I think I got this one in a fine nib. But I can't see it written anywhere. I'm pretty sure I ordered this one in the fine nib. And I don't know. I'm gonna read the instructions. Because I have no idea what I'm supposed to use the silicone grease for. And now the Jin Hao Shark Fountain Pens. I tried to film this haul a little bit earlier, but I accidentally deleted the footage, which was a bummer. So I'm reshooting. <laughs> and I already filmed this one to just try out this to try out this pen. It comes with a converter and I put a diamine ink in it. It's really it has a really fine nib. So it can feel a little bit scratchy. It does feel that way. And it's something uh, I need to get used to. But I won't be buying more of these. But this one looks so cute. It's like a rose gold color. I just don't like the shark. 
but the converters are pretty handy. I might get a few more of these. This, these are by the way standard uh, ink converters. So next up, these two sailor fountain pens. Uh, they have a flexible nib, one with 55 degrees and 40 degrees. Let me open one up. I open. I will open the blue one up. Also comes with some ink. Oh, it comes with two inked cartridges, which is pretty nice. I couldn't buy uh, the converter was out of stock, so I will get a converter a bit later. So, wow. Well. And you can post it as well, but it's really tall pencil or fountain pen. I want to use it for drawing to get more variation in the line work. But it looks really, really cool. And the green one, which is a little bit more steeper. Oh, wow. It is. It's a clip calligraphy fountain pen I will butcher every word in this video over here but let's compare it to the blue one I need to have the same angle but they look really really cool I have to say, the green one looks harder to use because it's a lot more steeper in the angle. Maybe this side. But I can't wait to try them out. But compared to... Um, Lomi Safari. It's not that, yes, it's quite a bit. Yes, it's quite a bit <laughs> taller compared to the Lomi Safari. But I don't have big hands, so that might be it. It also has a tiny stopper. So it wouldn't roll away. And they both come with a uh, standard black ink. But they look really cool. I'm really drawn to the blue color. But that's just the color. I think I like the angle of the blue one as well. But the blue black color is so beautiful. I tend to like very deep or matte dark green like this one. But I don't know why I like this color more or this version compared to this one. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> I'm just rambling right now. For the long safaris, I got for all of them the converters so I can play with the colorful inks. Then I also went to what do you call it a office supply store or there's a store that's specifically meant for fountain pens inks and notebooks and stuff like that and i bought these fountain pens also this one they were a little bit less than four dollars a fountain pen so these were i think limited edition or are limited edition and all of them are 0 
pre, so a fine nib. These all come with black ink cartridges. And uh, these come with uh, ink cartridges that are co the same as the body of the fountain pen. So this one has a pink one, a blue one, and a black one. And if I like these enough, I might get all of these. All of the limited edition of this one. I thought I also picked up the pink one, but I just got the red one. And I'm not sure what this is. Maybe flowers? But this one somehow reminded me of the... <laughs> of Naruto clouds. That's just me. And uh, I also got adapters. And I read that if you put this one in the fountain pen, it's harder to remove. And this one is uh, like it has a hooded nib. And I think the preppy is a little bit more broader compared to the um, Jin Hao fine nib. So I can't wait to test these one out, these ones out. And if I like them enough. Because if you oh it's this one is the click one. I just got used to opening it up like this, but no. <laughs> By twisting it. But if I like them enough, I might get all of the colors. I know I'm horrible. But the reason why I want, I want all of the colors or more of them if they work nice or um, they're nice to draw with is because I bought a whole bunch of ink which I put in here. And these ones seem to don't have a hard stop. After a year you can still open up and use it as they were and they won't, the ink won't dry out inside of the uh, nib because of the way the cap is designed so I wouldn't need to worry about running or having dry nibs or uh, what do you call it <laughs> you know you get what I mean and the reason why I bought so many fountain pens is because I overpaid for one and I, will... I got the Moleskin X or Times Caveco fountain pen and ballpoint. This comes with a converter, ink, converter inked bottle, uh, ink cartridges, and this is a black ballpoint, or it contains a black ink, which is pretty nice. And this one is the fountain pen. It's the Perkyo fountain pen. So it's the most affordable line or one of the affordable lines of Caveco. And this whole set was 100 euros. Which is a lot. Because I don't like this color ink. It's a little bit too green for me. Or um, not dark enough. I like either a very dark green. Or it has to be just light green. Not an in-between color. It also comes with a sleeve. And it only fits one pen inside. And I have no idea what to use it is. What, what I need to use a sleeve or a pen sleeve for. So that it doesn't get damaged. Yeah, I, I don't understand. And I also got one lonely purple ink cartridge in here. But because of about this set, I wanted to look into more fountain pens. And I thought this 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 is way overpriced. You just can get a standard Perkyo fountain pen or sports one, and it would be a lot. A Perkyo cost forty ninety five, fifteen euros for a perk. I bought. This whole set for 100 I'm gonna close this one up. I however like the color of the fountain pen. 
and it it has a really nice it doesn't feel scratchy at all so it's not the fountain pen that it's horrible but it seems like everything from moleskin is overpriced and i should have known better but it also has um like i showed you guys a medium nib but it's also a gold color it's not gold but just a gold color at least if it was gold it would say it was gold right it is we would say on the nib that it's 12 karat gold or something and you also get the writing that it's more skin it or times coveco i'm a little bit sour about this set i am i'm not gonna lie <laughs> i also got a glass um was it glass dip pen and also came with some type of holder which is also glass and a mini ink bottle with gold glitters that you can do this is pretty nice to, to use i already tried it out so i guess this is sort of a part two where should i start i went to the store the same store that i bought the preppies and I got the rest as well. Uh, the green one, the purple one, and the pink one. And I bought a backup for these two. I do really like this fountain pen to sketch with. I like it far more or a lot more than the Jin Hao Shark. I also got the clear ones, like five of these. And they look like a very affordable demonstrators because they are clear. And I want to use them more as a backup. Just for uh, unusual inks. I showed you guys the Eco Twispy. And I saw online the Iris Eco fountain pen. No, it's not the Eco. It's the VAC. Which comes in a bigger box. Now these instructions really scare me and I really need to. The VAC 700R. I saw it and I fell for it and I saw that it was limited edition I was like no why <laughs> uh, is there something underneath in the box I don't know I can't even get it out Or is it just a cushion? No, it's just a carton. Oh, there's tape on the box itself. Can you see? But it looks so pretty. I got the fine nib. Oh, it says on the box that I... And this is also the Eco Twist PJ. It was also in the fine nib. So I was right <laughs> previously. It looks so beautiful. I think let me remove everything from but look how beautiful this is I don't like the red detailing on top it doesn't match with the whole body but even the top is as beautiful is it iridescent chrome like finish It's so beautiful and the nib also has the same the same detailing or same finish as the rest of the body and like i said it's the fine nib as well and the ring 
this is beautiful i'm honestly a little bit scared to use this one like what if i stain it <laughs> i think i will start using this one once i get used to using the crispy eco i think that's a good idea but So pretty. Oh, and on the inside of the box, it comes with extra O nips or O rings. I think that's what it's called. Uh, a screwdriver and for the back of it. Don't take my word for this. I'm just unboxing this for the first time. And silicone grease, which also came with the eco. It's so pretty. Honestly, I can just look at this finish. But I just saw it online, or I think it was on a Reddit forum. I came across it, I started Googling, and I found a few shops that it had in stock. And I wanted a fine nib. So I think I would use that the most often or a medium but a fine nib would be a lot nice when I went to the store to buy the preppies that you just saw I also came across these two I'm zooming because they are tiny teeny tiny fountain pens this is the coral, which came out a few years ago. And this was a display model. I got the last one. But the color was just screaming at me. It said, buy, <laughs> get me please. <laughs> I think this was a 2019 edition. It's, and when you post it on the back side, it gets to a decent actually the perfect length for me to write and it came with a medium nib I also got the this year's limited edition the box is so beautiful it's kind of iridescent the 2022 uh, limited edition which is called pearl it's an iridescent fountain pen and look how beautiful this is online it doesn't look as beautiful and I didn't like the transparent qualities of this fountain pen but in real life it looks a whole lot better than online <laughs> that that's just my opinion and because it was the last one it came with the fine nib And it also posts the same way as the coral one. Want to switch out these two nibs. So in here the fine nib and in this one the medium nib. Because I <laughs> also got the sailor haha. And I think these two would pair up really really nicely. And this one I have a different color in mind. And last but not least, I'm also including this in the fountain pen haul, <laughs> a fountain pen cleaner on Hairbin. By the way, I almost forgot, look at these teeny tiny converters for these because like I said, I want to put the haha ink in here. And I also got two of the Sailor converters thank you for watching if you want to see a video about how to use an adapter to turn a preppy fountain pen into a clear demonstrator watch this video subscribe if you want to see more from me and i'll see you in the next one bye